Hello and welcome to this video brought by Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to apply animation using Pupa add-on and all the new cool font tools that you can play with. Um, of course, inspiration is Mixamo and therefore we have the artist um, interest in mind. So the interface is created to be very simple, um, very intuitive. And so let's just get started. Um, so this is the animation pyramid um, window so you can collapse the amateur and the utilities So this is the animation window so we can go ahead and apply any animation uh, So but before we do that, let's talk about the category. So the category by default is set to all um, That means you can see all the animation present inside Pupa, but you can also isolate or kind of select um, filter them out through categories so you have adventure, you have combat category, you have dance, fantasy, locomotion, miscellaneous, sport, and superhero. And each of these different category have admissions as, uh, assigned to them. Um, so if you or admission themes for them. So if you select adventure, you will be getting all the adventure themed animation. Um, if you select dance, you'll be getting all the dance themed animation. And, and you will not be able to find the dance themed animation in the fantasy category um, so that's basically it um, but you also have the ability to select all and you can be able to see all the animations present in inside Pupa uh, we have two preview methods so the first preview method is the one you could access through looking up the names um, so you can see all the animation in each categories um, you also have the preview actually seeing the um, image of the animation that you'll be selecting and you can select from each of any of one and it just works um, you also have the search um, function this allows you to search for animations um, which you're looking for so you can easily just search work and since you're in all it's going to filter through all the categories to uh, find an animation related to that name and it's using of course it's using the blender latest um, advanced search um, engine which is pretty awesome um, so you can easily just filter out the work cycle animation from all the categories, be it um, adventure, combat, dance, and any other thing like that. Um, so once you have that, you can go ahead and apply that animation. So let's just select a random animation and apply it. So I was playing with it already. So I'll just remove the animation. So basically you can apply, once you have any one selected, um, you can now, once it's displayed here, you can apply the animation and you can also remove the animation. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this animation. And so for applying the animation, you can you must have the rig selected. So you can be inside pose mode so it knows the rig is selected or you can be in object mode. So once you have that, you can have your animation applied. So the great thing about Pupa is that it supports multiple characters. So we can duplicate this and apply um, different animation onto them so it just applies it and it adjusts the keyframes um, to the most to the length of any keyframe um, available on, in the scene so we can apply another animation here Okay, so you have all the animations playing in your 3D viewport. Okay, so th that's it. Um, that's the one of the cool things working with multiple um, characters in your scene. And next, let's go into the um, these two checkbox. So we have the add animation and stay in place. Um, basically, the stay in place is great for um, creating a work cycle. Um, especially for games so if you want to create like work cycle of a character running constantly for several frames um, it's easy to accomplish that so let's just select a basic work um, cycle and apply this so by default it's going to move um, change its position in the world space as you can see so we just want it to work in place so we just check on in place and then apply the animation and Pupa is smart enough to know that the animation being applied, it's not going to move forward. So this is what we get. 
can easily create a work cycle um, also it allows you to add multiple animations so you can mix and match different animations so we want to increase this work cycle to a couple of frames we could easily go here and duplicate this um, or we could just click on add animation and it's going to add a new animation after the previous animation that we added um, so it's very useful so it's just going to continue uh, moving on so we can also let's try another a different animation let's um, make it from this animation it then goes to this particular animation okay so so you can adjust the timing how fast it goes because this is adjust keyframes you can adjust everything you need to do um, so th those are just this is those are everything you need to know about these two features so it's just left to imagination to kind of mix and match it um to make it work another great thing with pupa is that um, if we rotate this animation it's smart enough to apply animation at the right point so it's going to work nicely so if we apply animation here it's not going to mess up or have any error so you can just keep moving so if we rotate this and apply the animation so it, it just knows to work great so if no matter the scene which you're animating um, you'll be able to get it working great okay so the next tools are the layer um, animation layer so animation layer is basically what it says it allows you to layer animations um, so basically let's say you're happy with this animation but you need to tweak some things you want the hands to behave a certain way on top of the generated animations um, you can actually do that very easily so you can just click on new layer and you've jumped into the animation layer mode um, to preview your animation layer and even get more advanced stuff because this is blender and they're working and you can go to non-linear animation and you can see the current animation so you can go ahead and name this to animation one in the future we'll have more tools that allow you not to just work in one position but for now this is something you can do to even get better result um so we can start working from here since this is the nla editor you can move things around and just play with it so first of all we want to insert keyframe in the first frame to just make sure we maintain the very first position that works with the generated animation and now we can just go ahead and fix this if we want the hands to behave in a certain way and then we insert, insert keyframe for all the changes we're making okay so as you can see we have those changes created now the hands are not so spread apart like before so for this we, um, we want to get the initial position so that we don't mess things up so we can just duplicate it so it maintains that pose and once it's getting here we can get the initial frame so we're working with the exact stuff then we can go in and adjust this some more in case we want to get a particular look so this is the new pose and of course you can animate this traditionally by adding keyframes and everything so for this I think we had is we need more space okay so th that's it um, for this and once you're happy um, and you want to bake this out because that's the way you can m just combine every other changes you've made into one animation um, so that you can add more layer um, that's when you're working from Popa but you can easily just click on this drop down and start creating a new animation layer 
um, but yeah so once you're done and you want to bake it out um, if you currently if you just click on bake currently it's going to bake up to this frame um, but I know you want it to bake up to 120 so to do that you, you, you just need to insert just a keyframe at the end of the frame is going to tell Poopat that this is the final frame I want you to bake up to and once you do that um, and just select the rig hit bake and it's just going to go ahead and bake out all the animations and you can use it as your final animation yeah so that's it for this particular video I hope this was helpful um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Bye-bye for now. I'll see you next time.